<laughs> no, I kill my spiders. I'm good. Do that. Be more comfortable. Better be careful. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I was just about to say, I wanted to, like, this. I know he's going to watch this. Let's, I'll stand, I'll be all the way on this side, and you be all the way on that side, and hey, for this. No, I'm just. So, you ready? Sometimes sometimes I fuck up in the beginning, so it is what it is. No, it is. I'm, I, you know, so I've, are we going to keep like, retaking? Just, no, 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 no. Just no, no retaking. We'll just keep it rolling. We'll just keep it rolling. It's just, it's just for the story. I, listen, I'm not perfect. You know, you're, you're like, whatever. Um, so, yo. Just go. Exactly, exactly. this light on me? Are we good? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I'm Um. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, you ready? So I'm not perfect, but here we go. Um, Austin's. Not. Dude, I'm. Oh, did he press? It's he already going. We're, we're going. We're going. Oh, okay, we're going. Okay. We're going. All right. All right. All right. So we just wrapped up the filming of Slate Studio. Um, I'm with the one, the only, the Queen Slate, Stacy. Now, Slate is a hair salon, but in your words, what would you say Slate is? I know it's very, you know, I just kind of wrapped it up, but what, what is Slate? Um, well, me and the girls are complete family at all times. Uh, we love each other to death, and we're just here to produce good hair and be happy. Okay, now um, I want to get this out of the way, but so Slate, one line that, that I put in my rap, it's your big wedding day stress when you wake up. Let the Slate Babes take care of your hair and makeup. And on my shirt, it says Slate Babes. Now, to you, what is the definition of a Slate Babe? Cute and confident. So, can I be a Slate Babe? Of course you can! <laughs> okay, so that's good. Um, now, how long have you been in business? Two years. Two years. Okay, yeah. now what would you say is the biggest, um, I'll say, the biggest hurdle or one of the biggest things you had to take on as an entrepreneur like what's what's a big struggle that yeah what's what's well first and foremost opening a salon during covid okay was absolutely nuts um we got over it though we did it uh besides that i got nothing that was the hardest part <laughs> these girls make it easy okay <laughs> Now, um, wow, okay, I wasn't really expecting that <laughs> answer. <laughs> now, what made you want to do hair? Ooh, uh, I danced growing up, and my mom would, can I curse? Yeah, you can curse. Okay, she would fuck my hair up and yeah. dance We don't give a fuck. Amen. Let's do this shit, come on. So, at a very young age, I said, no, 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 I gotta do this. Okay. And then from there, it was a way to get out of high school. I didn't have to go there. I would go to tech, I would escape, okay. it all just worked out. So you went to, did you, so you went to, where did you work before this? Or did you go to school and then straight up so start I went your to, business? Yeah, I went to tech while I was in high school and then graduated, went right into a salon, worked under someone for nine years and then opened sleep. Okay, and I just want to, I just want to compliment you and say, walking in, it's a great, Feel and it's good vibes. I know that may sound weird when I say that to some no, that, people. No, that means everything. But it's really good vibes and I love that. So if, let's say someone's looking, I kind of, you know, gave the answer in a bit, but in your words, if someone's new here and they're looking to get their hair done, why should they come to Slate? Ooh. Ooh, that one struck me. <laughs> Damn, why should they come to sleep? I mean, if they like good hair. Okay. If they enjoy an entertaining crowd of hairdressers okay, that off. get along. Okay. And like to be treated good. Okay. What else? I don't know, that's so, it. That's all I got. And then, so, obviously, hair. We do women's hair here. Mm -hmm. But if I'm a guy, I can come here also. Hell yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do a lot of guy clients? Do you have, Pers I know Travis comes here, correct? Does he? Travis does. Okay. Shout, shout out, out to Travis. Good guys detailing, shout out to Travis. Amen. Give him uh, just a little shout out. Seek a seat. 
As see, well. Yeah, seek a seat. I do want that's coming too. Seek a seat video on the way. But okay, so yes. I would say about 45% of my clientele personally is men. Holy this is shit. why we have those nice pictures on the wall over there of the hot chicks and nice cars. The hot chicks and <laughs> nice cars. Besides the fact of detail doctor. Woo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's oh, it. and that's something I wanted to bring up. So, you are in love with the detail <laughs> doctor. Oh, I but, am deeply no, no, no. in love. But I wanted to say, so am I. I'm okay, red. so am I. Um, now, I did a video. I've kind of hit the whole family. I did a video for a House of Hair in Yorktown, which yep. is the detail doctor's sister, kind of branching off the whole family Shout tree out here. To and I also did Somers Wine and Spirits, which is his, you know, his parents. So I did the whole fam. So I obviously had to come through and say what's up to here. But what I was trying to say. Is there like a little beef because House of Hair and then Slate, so both, you know, both doing hair, is there a little beef or is it like love? Like I just wanted to know. I didn't ask, you know, I didn't ask his sister this, the owner of House of Hair. I just, you know, I'm saying a lot of, I'm saying a lot, but. I fucking there beef? love Jackie. Oh, okay, that's There's good. There's no that's beef. That's good. Okay, good. Um, if anything, we share clients. If she. Oh has an overflow and needs something or for a bridal she'll send them my way if i have an extension we can't fit them in we send them her way we work off of each other if i need advice in the business aspect the first person i call is jackie perfect and congrats jackie i know you just got engaged everybody loves you i love you it's it's good vibes um yeah and just the same feeling i got i was i was talking to austin because i know mondays you're closed yes um, and I was walking in and I and I didn't know like what it was gonna be and I was like is it just gonna be me you know me and you which I'm fine with but I was like the whole rap is about like you know That's not fine. yeah not me getting cut so I was like oh like I don't know how this is gonna work yeah but what I'm saying is I got the same good feeling and the good energy when I went into house of hair so and house of hair in terms of views and everything it did fucking amazing. It did great. Pop off. Popped off. You you know, we did our thing when we went in there. So um, I just wanted to say the great energy that I did, House of Hair, I've gotten here. So I know, you know, this is going to do great. Um, honestly, I don't want to torture you too much. Oh, uh, you know, I, there's no, you know, I really just wanted to get a vibe for you um, on just... Just really quick, what days are we open here? I know it's Monday, we are not open. Monday we are closed. Monday, yes. Tuesday through Saturday. No, I'm lying. Tuesday through Sunday. Tuesday through we Sunday. We open on Sundays for appointments only, bridal stuff. Okay. Exclusive. Yes. You got the in, you have one of our numbers. Yeah, yeah. You come in on a Sunday. Okay, perfect. It's, you know, it's the grind. Um, <laughs> any advice to someone who's getting into this, what would you tell them? Ooh. Find a salon with a lot of girls so you can work off of all of them. You can see how everyone works. They all have, we all have different techniques. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to be able to see the difference in techniques in everyone as like, you know, multiple hairdressers. So if you're starting off, you can kind of learn from everybody versus if you go into a smaller salon, you don't have as much learning ability there, okay. if that makes sense. Um, and be patient. This shit takes a while. Okay, that's and I that's wanted. That's huge. That's huge. We and, don't start at the top. That's huge, and I just wanted to say that too. For honestly, for anything you do, if you want to be successful, that's one thing that you know your significant other told me. He's like, you know, you're doing great work. All this, that, and the just third. Just keep going. Just keep going and yeah. be patient. This is not going to happen tomorrow. And he said it in his interview. He's like, five years and you're just breaking the ice. Hell yeah. And then, you know, if you keep with it, you'll take off and all that stuff. But patience is huge because even with me, I'll look at the stuff that, um, you know, the work that I put out and I'm like, oh, this is great. Like this, that, and the third. Um, but it, it, it doesn't matter if it's great or not. You just have to persistence. It takes one. One video is gonna yeah. go viral. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it. 
Um, okay, thank you so much. I know this was, you know, you were stressing about it, but you did amazing. Thanks. You did amazing. You did amazing. Nah. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, Slate Studio, you heard the hours. We are here. I'm not personally going to be here a lot, but you'll see this wonderful face and she will hook you up. Everybody's been so nice to me. The work here is fire. Check them out on the gram. I'll post all the links like I usually do and just thank you and, you know, I'm always, I'll, I'll always pop in when I can say Constantly. what's up. So that's You're it. You're always welcome. Thank you. Thank You're you. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's right.